This is Tom Renak, and this is the top nine supplements for arthritis. There are six common types of arthritis, and this is a confusing topic. When patients come in, sometimes I could tell they're confused, so I'm gonna go over them. Number six, ankylosing spondylitis. This is a type of arthritis that affects the spine. Number five, gout. Gout is a form of inflammatory arthritis caused by excessive uric acid. As a foot doctor, I see this a lot, especially big toe joint pain, ball of the foot pain, ankle pain can be very common. This affects almost 10 million people in the United States every year. Lupus. Lupus is a systemic disease and it's an autoimmune disorder. It can lead to osteoarthritis. Number three, psoriatic arthritis. This affects people with psoriasis. I personally have psoriasis. I get dry skin on my scalp, on my face. I have to moisturize every single day. This is a very frustrating disease. It's estimated that 30% of people with psoriasis will develop psoriatic arthritis, but don't worry, we're gonna give you some nice solutions. Rheumatoid arthritis, this is an autoimmune disorder that can affect more than just the joints. According to the Arthritis Foundation, at least 1.5 million people in the United States have rheumatoid arthritis, much more common in women. This is when both your hands, both your feet are aching. And number one, bum, 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 osteoarthritis. This is a damaged or injured joint when you lose cartilage on your joint. At least 35 million people in the United States are affected and probably way higher now. Typically this affects older adults affects joints like the knees, hips, hands, and spine. So I said the top nine, but I'm gonna include a couple bonuses for you. Vitamin D. Vitamin D is so important. It helps with everything, but surprise, it helps with joint pain, muscle pain, bone strength as well. Highly important, I won't spend too much time. Make sure to check your vitamin D levels. Magnesium, it's involved in 600 plus enzymes, also your muscles, your joints, your strength. Highly important if you're deficient, certainly can contribute to your joint pain and arthritis pain. Number 11, HMB. This is beta hydroxy beta methyl butyrate. Very complicated, but especially in older people, this helps to prevent the breakdown of muscle strength. I have a video on that below. Muscle strength, flexibility, very important in arthritis. Number 10, creatine. Creatine is perhaps the most important supplement for building muscle. It's naturally found in muscles and helps produce more strength, more high intensity exercise, heavy lifting. For my patients, almost immediately it helps their muscle strength and movement. If you're weak, if you're having a hard time moving around, strongly consider creatine. I have great videos on HMB and creatine. If you haven't thought about these, strongly consider them for anybody. They're safe, they're well studied with great results. Number nine, MSM or methyl sulfonyl methane. This is a common ingredient in supplements said to help with joint pain. In one study, MSM improved pain and functioning compared to placebo in people with arthritis. The dose typically ranges from about 1.5 to 6 grams per day. It's sometimes divided into one, two, or three doses. You can typically find these supplements in most stores. I've had so many patients comment in these videos about how much MSM has helped them. Same with my patients personally. It's made such a big difference. MSM is at the bottom of the list for a reason. Some studies are really good, but the statistics are very poor. There's only really about a thousand patients in any reasonable studies, so it's not enough to make a strong recommendation. The dosage is 500 to 3000 milligrams per day, and it can help with arthritis, anti-inflammation, improve joint mobility, and it's considered to be very safe. And I know some people have great results with it, but the studies are the lowest quality out of all the things we're gonna talk about today. Number eight, devil's claws. As a church going person, devil's claw kind of scares me. It's not something I'd want to put in my body, but it is actually well studied. So if your arthritis is bad enough and you're not a superstitious person like me, it contains a chemical called harpogoside that has anti-inflammatory effects. Taking devil's claw may help with joint pain from osteoarthritis. Devil's claw was measured in a study against an anti-inflammatory drug and was said to work just as good, but it's a natural supplement. However, there needs to be more high quality studies. But again, this is one that patients say works well for them. You take about 600 milligrams three times per day. Devil's Claw is on a lot of best of lists and the dosage is 600 to 1200 milligrams per day. And it does benefit in arthritis and anti-inflammatory relief with a lower side effect profile. It's an all natural herb from Africa. 
but there's no high level studies, no high level systematic reviews. There's just a lot of small studies showing good results. And the reviews on Amazon are pretty good, but that's really all we have to go on. Number seven, avocado soybean unsapinophiables. That's a tough one to pronounce, so I'm just gonna call it an ASU referred to a type of extract from an avocado and soybean oil that may help prevent the breakdown of cartilage. It may also help repair cartilage. Clinical studies show that ASUs improve pain symptoms more than a placebo in people with osteoarthritis. The typical dose of ASU is 300 milligrams per day. ASUs are an all natural option. 300 to 600 milligrams per day has been studied. These can help with less stiff joints, joint health, cartilage protection in these studies with a minimal side effect profile. There was actually a higher level meta-analysis in 2007 with 664 patients across a few different studies, and they reported about 39 to 80% improvement in joint pain, and they recommended to give these a chance for three months if you need another option. Number six, Boswellia. Boswellia is also known as Indian frankincense. It's commonly used for pain caused by arthritis. Chemicals in this extract called Boswellia acids have anti-inflammatory effect. Clinical studies have shown that Boswellia extracts improve pain symptoms more than a placebo in people with osteoarthritis. Studies looking at the use of this for joint pain have used doses ranging from 100 milligrams once per day to 350 milligrams three times per day. The results were pretty good. I've heard a lot of people use it. I've heard a lot of positive feedback from patients. If you look on Amazon, these actually have pretty good reviews and are pretty low cost. The dosage is 300 to 500 milligrams. It's an anti-inflammatory for the joints. And there are some meta-analyses showing about 20% improvement in joint pain within about the first four weeks of using this. Sam, S. adenosyl L methionine is a supplement commonly used to help with symptoms of depression and osteoarthritis. Your liver can naturally produce SAM from an amino acid called methionine. It has several functions, including helping the production and repair of cartilage. When taken as a supplement, SAM can help with symptoms of joint pain caused by osteoarthritis. It can be as effective as an anti-inflammatory drug named Celebrex. In one study in 2004, Celebrex improved symptoms more than same after a month, but by the second month, same had about the same outcomes as Celebrex. It's usually taken in doses of 200 to 400 milligrams three times per day. Keep in mind that it can take a month, two months to notice some results. All of these have pretty tough names to pronounce, but it's helpful for mood improvement and liver health. And studies are actually better for those two things than joint pain. But on joint pain analysis, there was about a two out of 10 pain improvement over about two to three months of taking it. So consider it, I wouldn't call it magical necessarily, even though it's comparable to some anti-inflammatories and can be helpful if you have liver or mood improvement issues as well. Number four, now to the more popular ones, chondroitin. Like glucosamine, chondroitin is a building block of cartilage. It may also help prevent cartilage breakdown from osteoarthritis. Many clinical studies have found that chondroitin can reduce joint pain and stiffness in people with arthritis. About 53% of people who take chondroitin have at least a 20% or greater improvement of knee pain. It works 20% of the time, about 50% of the time. It works at least 20%, 50% of the time. That's something wrong Burgundy would say, where 60% of the time works every time. Chondroitin sulfate may also slow down the progression of arthritis when taken long-term. Studies show that it slows down narrowing of the joint space when taken for up to two years. Joint supplements often combine chondroitin with glucosamine, but it's still unclear if taking a combination supplement is any better than taking one or the other on their own. The studies just haven't proved it. Typical dosages are about four to 800 milligrams per day, two to three times per day. Chondroitin usually comes in a combo with glucosamine. The dosage is about 800, 1200 milligrams per day. You can start low, but you can gradually work your way up. And it has benefits of joint health, improving stiffness, cartilage support with minimal side effects. There are a lot of meta-analyses looking at 30 plus studies. Most of them do show benefits and improvement, but some of them say there's no improvement and some of them say there's like 70% improvement. Number three, glucosamine. 
Glucosamine is a natural component of cartilage, a substance that prevents bone from rubbing against each other and causing pain and inflammation. It might also help prevent the breakdown of cartilage that can happen with arthritis. Many supplements aimed at treating joint pain include glucosamine. It's very well studied, but there's still a question of how it works exactly. There was one meta-analysis that found that products containing glucosamine hydrochloride don't do much to improve joint pain caused by osteoarthritis, but another one showed that it does improve this. When taking over a long period of time, studies generally say that it slows down the narrowing of the joint, so it won't build new cartilage, but can stop the degradation of cartilage. You can usually take about 1500 milligrams a day, broken up into doses. Glucosamine and chondroitin are usually taken together, so the results are pretty similar. Some people get some good relief and prevention of cartilage degradation, but it won't reverse your cartilage. Give it a try. See if it helps for you. Number two, fish oil. This is omega-3 fatty acids, DHA, and EPA. They have anti-inflammatory effects. There's so much studies on omega-3 fish oils. This is something that I'm making sure to take more and more, and I feel it makes a big difference for me. I don't really have joint pain, but I work out. I feel it helps with my muscle strength and my inflammation. Typical fish oil dosages range from about 300 to 1,000 milligrams per day. I put some of my favorites down below and check out my fish oil video. Omega-3 fatty acids are just so well studied. The dosages now are so affordable. They used to be really expensive, but they studied 149,000 patients in a meta-analysis. It helps for anti-inflammation, improves joint health, adds a lubrication effect, helps blood flow to the area. This is a must-take supplement for pretty much all problems out there for your daily regimen. If you click the links below, it supports the channel, and I really appreciate you guys for doing so. And number one, bum, 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 turmeric. Turmeric is one of the most popular supplements for treating pain, including joint pain caused by osteoarthritis. Turmeric is so well studied. There's literally hundreds, if not thousands of studies, which all come to the same conclusion. Turmeric can be just as effective as an anti-inflammatory, has anti-inflammatory effect. It's relatively safe, although I go over the 10 potential side effects, especially as a blood thinner, it can help thin the blood, which for most people is a good thing, some people not a good thing. Dosages are about 500 milligrams, two to four times per day for your joint pain. There's still a couple other things. The big secret is this, while supplements work well, in order, here's what works best for me. Number one, muscle strengthening, strong thighs, hamstrings, back, hip muscles. This makes such a big difference. And the easiest way to do that is resistance and strength training. But number two, cardio. Cardio is so well proven as well. The more your muscles can keep functioning, the less they collapse, the less the joints rub. I go over a guide how to achieve this, starting a 30 day walking program. 99% of people with joint pain can benefit with the proper shoes, insoles, braces, orthotics, starting out five minutes a day, 10 minutes a day. Check that video down below. Makes such a big difference. Get that muscle strength going. That's the big secret. I'm telling you, the muscle strengthening, the walking, the inserts, the proper shoes, the orthotics. I have thousands of patients to see me for this joint pain. It works almost all the time. Seriously, check out that video. You won't regret it. Try the supplements, but really get your muscle strength and flexibility up.